What's going on, YouTube? My name is Vitamin East 10, and welcome back to some King Corey. This is episode 17, 16, 17, 18. I don't know what episode it is. I don't know if you noticed here, but in the title screen, it says 1.03 parentheses R18. Now, what does that mean? A lot of you already know what that means. And for those that don't, because I did not know myself either, it's a different version from what we were playing. So the R18 basically means porn. <laughs> I found out about the 18 plus version of the visual novel, at least by Yuzusoft, because obviously not all visual novels are the same, you know, and I'm sure there's different genres and different stuff you'll see, of course. And while I've been playing Yuzusoft visual novels mostly, you know, for a while, and I've only played three, Sandra Banka, Kaifei Stella, and this one. When I was playing Sandra Banka, someone, I think, Kudo it was, Kudo if you're watching, Shout out to Kudo. He was talking about a 18 plus version on Sender Bank, and I was like, I was like, what the heck is that? Like, I've never heard of that before. I was like, I've been playing these, thinking the whole time that this was like the the inappropriate, you know. But it turns out it gets even more inappropriate. So I was like, okay, that's that's cool. And the reason why I ended up considering doing it now was because I feel like, and although I know it's 100% like not the case, but I feel if I'm not playing the original version, because the only reason you don't show the the porny stuff the eroge stuff is because of steam you know they're like hey you guys need to put the appropriate version because there's a lot of people playing these kinds of games and you know you wouldn't want a kid looking at cartoons and then all of a sudden the cartoons have boot biddies out and you know all that good stuff and so that's why it's like that Again, for those that didn't know. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm like, okay, well, I feel like if I'm not playing the original version, I feel like I'm missing out on something, which I am, you know, the point stuff, basically. Although it's not really important, I still feel like missing out on something, and I hate that. I don't know. That's just how I am. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. Plus, if I'm playing visual novels and everybody's assuming I'm looking at porn, might as well look at porn anyways, you know what I mean? And I know you horn dogs out there would probably like that. The only problem about this, though, is that I need to be a lot more careful. You know, because if one nipple gets out, I'll probably get in trouble by YouTube. And, you know, not only can my video get taken down, but there's a good chance I could get my channel taken out as well. So you could say I'm playing with fire, but it's okay. I'm going a, I'm to a see how this episode goes. And if there's no issues, then I'm going to continue doing this. But just know that we're about to see some biddies probably. Well, I guess not you because I'm going to blur it out. I'm going to blur the freak out of this game now <laughs> because there's going to be a whole lot of wild stuff. And I'm not ready for it. You, you guys have an imagination, I'm sure. And, you know, with the, the sounds that you make and stuff, you, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You know, you guys are smart. Anyways, if you have not seen the previous episode, go ahead and watch it. Like right now. This is now the start of porn, basically. It over. Just know that this is the first episode ever that I'm doing 18+. plus. I'm not guaranteeing we're going to see anything or hear anything weird in this episode yet because I had to skip a lot just to make sure that the patch worked correctly, you know, and obviously I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to the reading and stuff. I was just looking for like biddies. I was like, okay, did this work? Did this work? And it worked. <laughs> so I just want to let y'all know what was happening because it's, it's quite the change. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. That's enough of me ranting. Or welcome to porn, I should say. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> Hey, she think about another dude while she's with another dude? I get it. She should totally dump him right now. <laughs> Favorite this voice line? You could do that? What? Wait, hold on. What? Wow, I didn't even know you could do that. Wait, what's the sound thing here? Oh. Oh. Mazu, Zen Sai no Aonawa desne. 
龍造寺の誇るデータベースからこの時期最も旬だというまた始まっちゃった<笑> Thanks. Sorry. Whoops. というわけで、楽しんでいただけたなら何よりですね。She's totally not having it. ええ、大変美味しかったですわ。龍造寺の強みは何と言ってもこの情報集積力ですからね。今日使ったのはほんの一端というところですが。日本の町工場レベルの技術力転用も龍造寺にかかれば手のひらの上ですソルティレージの軍需産業にも大きく貢献できますよそれは素晴らしいです技術投用ではないかそれで龍造寺さん例の件ですけどああもちろんコーディネーターの名取に話は通してあります来週水曜には彼女がご挨拶に向かいますよありがとうございます私国にいた頃から彼女のファンでお会いするのが夢だったんですそうだったのですかなら早く行ってくれればよいのに本当にありがたいです本来一方的にマスコミ向けに婚約を喧伝するような部水をする相手とは近づきたくないが So what I'm hearing is you folded 龍造寺を間に持たねば彼女に接触できない以上しばらくは仕方あるまいシルビー様はそういうところ気にしないし厄介なことにならねばよいのだがうん、even if we assume in the worst case that this r u z o j i guy ranks more highly than I do あはぁ is he alright in terms of personality? そうですわねお姉さまの知名度を利用したプロパガンダやり手ではありますが後先を考えてないと同時に少々やり口がお行儀よくありませんわ you still want him for your sister? You bother? どんな性格なのでしょう、hmm. Good question. <笑>どうされましたえええいけないあくびが出ちゃった。昨日はオーロが心配でずっと起きてたから。うるんだめ。間違いない。僕に気がある。落としてやる。落としてやるぞ。ソリティレージの姫様が引っかかれば、龍造寺は将来安泰。日本最大の企業にするのだって目じゃない。Who gonna tell them? マジで。Who gonna tell them? こんなビジ。ウッショー。絶対手に入れちゃう。Uh, why he say it like that? I'm scared for her. <laughs> I don't like this guy, dude. He's weird. Hey, Vance. No, not really. Sylvie wasn't acting any differently from yesterday, which should mean nothing worth worthy happened, right? Well, yeah, obviously. No matter how many self proclaimed fiancés came forward, that didn't mean Sylvie had feelings for them. Sylvie loved Soma kun, which put him at the top of her list of prospective partners. Sad to say, even though self proclaimed fiancés ranked higher than I did, I should have had a long ways to go. <laughs> ねえオーラあさっての約束覚えてるんおう、あの Wednesday。あげしはさっさと言われてるんだけど、あげしはさっさと言われてるんだけど、あげしはさっさと言われてるんだけど、あげしはさっさと言われてるんだけど、あげしはさっさと言われてるんだけど、あげしはさっさと言
おはようおはようあのさしるびん一つ聞いていいおんと。Rena was mindfully shooting looks here and there for whatever reason. She was acting apologetic not to Sylvie, but to me, when. What? She showed us the page from a new site on her phone. In the photo, Sui was sitting in an elegant looking garden and having a leisurely chat with a man. <laughs> Japanese clothes really suit you. So, is this for real? What? 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 しかも My glasses. Sorry, guys. Kuen Otokoda. Genji Tendewa, Nanimo de Kimasen. I don't think she likes him. Ma, in the Nakasira. Uasanante, Dokokara de Mogara Monoyo. They say that me. Kunini Takoroa, Moto Muchana, Uasa Nagasareta Monoyo. What does she want? Iro to Konya Kusteratoka. I made the same mistake. When she put it that way, there was no use complaining about these rumors. All you could do was ignore them. Even if it kind of felt like it was beating the away at me. Yeah, Apparently, not that I got any clue who. She's been hyped about it for ages now. Look how easily she gave in. My phone rang. Hello? Oh, Chieka. Oh. Need something? New Year's? I told you I'd pop in to see my parents. With an old friend? No, listen here. I told you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jealousy, perhaps? Oh. おさなのじみ。いやね。私より<笑> I thought he didn't like her that much. Well, man, Oro's weird. He's so weird. Hi, hi.
What do you mean? What couldn't? It was after school and, unusually enough, I found Ria talking on the phone when I headed up our usual spot on the roof. Nothing much. I learned this past weekend that my biggest rival, iroe san wasn't someone Sylvie considered a romantic interest. With that said, a new rival had reared its ugly head. Sylvie and I hadn't made any forward progress. For now. We just had a meal together and that was it. If anything, we made plans to have dinner together again. Hey. It's supposed to be on Wednesday. She insists we go to her place together. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Rhea? Rhea went wide-eyed for some reason. Yeah. Huh? シルビア姫様はチャンスと見るや決め打ちで仕掛けてくるタイプだな。ゴールデンタイムを逃さない。憧れるわ、ああいうとこ。Why was she at side? That's the real question. Huh? What the heck was she going on about? これも覚悟決めるか? She shrugged her shoulders in a resigned fashion. Then Ryo climbed up on the water tank and waited for sunset. Normally she'd always fall quiet at this time, but... Yeah? Come on, that's a big ask. I'd love to if I could, though. Right. What's with you today? You're awfully talkative all of a sudden. Hmm? You foreshadowing something, Rhea? She fell silent. Interesting. None of this made any sense to me. Something would happen on Wednesday. It was only an inkling, but that was the only prediction. The one prediction I had. Interesting. I didn't necessarily read anything but based off what I saw while I was skipping to look for the biddies, I think I know what's happening or what's going to happen I should say. Ah, sleepy. Whoa, it's crazy cold today. No, it's not. I got depressed the second I learned that happens. Couldn't we go without radio calisthenics for today? Why? Can't do it. Taking the day off covers up with Wutan. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm really fired up now. Look, there's a steam coming off of me right now. <laughs> oh no. Why? No. Mina-chan, huh? That was mean. Yes! No. I mean, no. Like, no. I do mind. I'd love for you to call me that every single day. But it's embarrassing, so please don't overdo it. That's smart. Phew. Man, though. Phew. Man. Though, it really is freezing out today. <laughs> oh yeah, is it next Monday the end of term ceremony? Yes. <laughs> Guess that means it's report card season. Are you the type to get good grades, Akuna chan? Oh. Do you stop smiling for some reason? It, 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 it was a question. It, it was a question, though. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> 
いつも優しい先輩がシュラのような顔に I thought you were a kid underclassman, but I hate girls who make hurtful comments. すいません。Wow, pulled over the river center. Nice, nice. I respect that. <laughs> Rena happened to come out of the cafe around the time we wrapped up radio calisthenics and I went to grab breakfast. <laughs> Those really weren't enough of a warm up to call them radio calisthenics. The below freezing temperatures totally sapped my body heat. I feel like a popsicle. <laughs> I'm, conv I'm convinced she's on drugs. I don't have that kind of youth left in me. Is that coffee milk? Is it warm? I took a small drink. Ah, warm. Shoot, Reina.、Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, was that today? Every school out there had a one on one interview with teachers around this time of year, and Noble Academy was no exception. It would end up killing time during our expert planning classes this afternoon, but I'll tell them I'm aiming to become a diplomat for now. <laughs> I'm fully aware they're probably going to make fun of me. What else did you want to ask me? どんどんおひれがついて広がってるの、知ってる ?I did.I spent all that's not looking it up online. なんかだんだん自信なくなってきた。これって嘘なんだよね ?Since Reyna was already pretty out of the loop, she'd begun to think this might be real. If this continued, the relationship would only improve in the public's eyes and not reflect how they truly felt about one another. The will of the people were important to members of royalty. If these rumors on their intimacy took root, they wouldn't be able to break ties with the Uzoji so easily. That could result in actual marriage, and even if it didn't go to that extreme, it could act as a starting point. This was getting kind of frustrating. <laughs> oh? This was a rare occurrence. She usually cut class and would only wear her uniform to sneak into the academy at around dusk. Going to class today? I'm worried. I'm going to go to the office in the morning, but what do I do at the end of the day? Good job, Ria. It's good. 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 <laughs> そりゃそうだ。That's what happens to delinquents fresh off suspension. あの視線が本当うっとうしい。どうしたもんか。まあ、でもそろそろ慣れてかないとな。Do you though? 隠れてこそこそするのに。明日までなんだ。ん、hmm? 何のこと ?No clue.Indeed, no clue.Russell, Russell. Just for that? I know. Not only was Rio's class Aster, but so was ours. It's way too loud. Pretty famous, isn't she? Noble Gakin, the Kitsen State of Saturante, Zendai Mimon Descara. She definitely didn't fit in their sophisticated world. Karamarata Tosio Tomoto, Huruega Tomarimase. Aren't you two men? I mean, she was a delinquent, but she was a teensy girl. <laughs> That's our homie. Rich kids were totally hopeless in these situations. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Since Ryo really drummed up attention, that naturally means. That this would happen. 
How should I handle this? Would it be okay to let Rhea and Sophie meet? Rhea didn't like the idea, but she had come out all on her own today. While I was busy worrying about it. Ooh. Let us shut up, bro. Go away. Ella bugs. Oh yeah, I did have that pretext to run with. So his guards might have been the biggest reason that Sylvie hadn't met Somakun yet. She big chilling, look at her. Hmm? Even though I waited for her that day, Ryo never showed up for some reason. She was there basically every day. I wonder what happened. Hello? I knocked on my neighbor's door. A majorly moody Ria came out. You don't sound so great. Too busy for that today. I invite her inside. Ages ago. She immediately lit up one of her cigarettes. Smokers really do rely on those things when they get on edge, don't they? <laughs> sure. It sounded like she was seriously on edge. Was it that rough at school? Oh, that sucks. That's why she wasn't on the roof? It's... It's impressive you didn't blow up at me, at least. What's well, up your butt, Rhea? She sat on the bed. I thought, if you're mad at the world, then the problem's with you. Passed through my mind, but I decided to keep my mouth shut. She definitely hit me otherwise. Man, though, you really weren't going to school much at all. I've been at Noble Academy for a while now, but it's not like she'd been cutting class before I showed up. Why haven't you dropped out? Not that I'd hear anything about her being held back either. Do you have one of those, like, special privileges that exempt you from class or something? Probably. Oh. What? For real? This is an academy, you know? That totally destroyed its pretense as a place of learning. Wow. Some learning institutions had a system in place where students, namely the ones who excelled in sports, could graduate even if they flunked out. But, what are you doing for your expert planning classes? As far as I knew, she was always asleep in her room. I doubted the school would exempt her from class just for sleeping. Come on, Ria. No comment. Ria wouldn't tell me. This was no different from usual, but she was full of mysteries. How is she a smoker and she has the ability to sing like that? I don't understand. Well, this is this is fiction after all. With a shrug of her shoulders. Huh? Huh? Why would Sylvie tell me? This conversation had gone way over my head. What kind of movie? I booted up the DVR. Recorded movie repertoire had increased since I last watched Lydia. That was a good episode. What do you up for today? Another French movie? Talk about horrible bias. Then let's see. Ah. I know. There was a special I recorded the other day. Let's watch that. This. There was a one hour Mario special. I immediately scheduled the recording on the DVR the day I found out about it when it was advertised over a month ago. I hadn't even realized it had already been recorded. Pretty massive screw up on my part. You'll feel better if you listen to a full hour of Mario Bishop singing. Why? What? 
Do you need to get your ears checked, Ria? To say you hate Maria? I can only imagine they're broken. Yes. What? Have you never heard Maria's work before? You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe you didn't fall in love with her the second you heard her music. What good is her perfect pitch for? Mm, interesting. What? Did you hear that, Ria? Maria's apparently got perfect pitch too. Ah, Wait! Don't run away, at least watch this movie to the end. I'm sure you'll see how great Maria is. It's my duty to spread word of Maria's greatness to as many people as possible. Because I love Maria. That's why I want you to love her too. Don't worry, it won't take long. As if I'll let you get away. No way, you're not leaving. I'll make you understand just how much I love Maria. <laughs> Screaming. Nice. That was nice. She clearly can't take praise. It seems. Even though she's not Maria at that time. Very interesting. Oh, what? Yup, yup, today's a promise, right? <笑>楽しみだわ。そうそう、それに付随してなのだけど、オールってどう書く。クリスマスイブの日は何か用事ってある？ well, Christmas, huh? Sorry, I've got plans. Oh, what? Yeah, I actually made them a little while back. Cheka asked me. Ooh, we were just going to meet up on New Year's, but she ended up asking me to come visit for Christmas. It's a huge pain, but I can't bail on her after saying I'd go. Sylvie? She's now suffering from jealousy as well. Now she knows how he felt. <laughs> Unfortunate. Mm. I totally won't. I'd rather give Sylvie priority anyway. But if everyone in class was going to be in attendance, it'd work out the same whether I was there or not. In which case, I should give my prior engagement preference. If it would be just me and Sylvie, I'd definitely give that priority. How do they know this right away? Jesus. Hmm, interesting. An important friend. After school. We headed to Sylvie's place with Reina and Tell. I love Reina. By the way, Reina, do you know the etiquette for French dining? First, you use the knives and forks from the first out, then you place the napkin so it's beautifully arranged. Ah, Sylvie, I'm a fork, so I'll ask you a question. Hi! Hey, Boro Coche? The limousine had come to pick us up. <laughs> Boro Coche. Are you used to this? Just worried I might have gotten it dirty somehow. I'd never ridden a car with such soft seats before. You <laughs> The three of them ran off. I probably should have joined them, but that felt questionable since they seemed to have agreed to rummage through Elisan's room. 
short time later. Mm, interesting, huh? Ah, uh, um, uh. Yes, <laughs> another unexpected arrival. Someone I thought I'd never get to see in person again showed up like it was only natural. And for that matter, it was... Yes, sounded like she remembered me. Come on, are you for real? The Maria Bishop was up in my face? Um, why are you here? Huh? <laughs> Maria gave a mischievous giggle. I don't... It's so weird that she has like... No, not like. She literally has two different personalities. It's the wig. Get rid of it. That was a joke, right? Obviously. Uh, forget that. Her face was so close. Oh no, the mic. There we go. From this close, I could kiss her in an instant if I felt so inclined. Hey, chill, chill. This is Sylvie's room. <sighs> what do you mean? Huh? Huh? Her voice and manner of speaking sounded vaguely familiar. Um. Nani? Oh, never mind. It was no use. I was too nervous to spit out a single word. Whoa. She was the real deal. The same girl I just saw in my recording yesterday, without a doubt. The real Maria Bishop was here. Yeah, I'm still plenty astonished. So this was your surprise? <laughs> Sylvie looked proud of herself. I heard TV stations couldn't even book her depending on her mood, but it, if I really thought it through, Sylvie's two powers were more impressive than the TV station. It was a tremendous surprise. But the real surprise was what came next. Huh? She already knew? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> she got it. Nice. Good going, Sylvia. Freaking Odo's an idiot. Huh? What? もともと写真で見てる時からそうじゃないかとは思ってたけれどこの前直に見て確信したわ大好きだったイチが大好きなオーロになったのも驚きだったけれど大好きだったソウマくんが大ファンのマリアになってるって本当に驚いたわ隠
It's not that. I couldn't accept that this was real. Um, what should I be astonished by first? That the Maria Bishop was our childhood friend? One was a princess and the other a diva. My luck with women was out of this world. But above all else, you've got to be kidding me, Rhea! This part shocked me the most. Yeah, but how? This can't be real. <笑><笑>なんて。<笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> not only did I not realize it, the idea never even occurred to me. Why didn't you tell me? What a trash person. Enough with the twisted logic. Sure? Subi, who had been watching this all play out, raised her hand. さっきから聞いていると、何？オールとソーマ君、これまでにも会っていたの？あ、I Now, even so, you had been calm the whole time, gonna do some shock. Things had gotten completely out of hand at this point. By the way. Watch your figure it out, too. It seemed someone completely unrelated to the situation could tell Maria and Rio apart. I guess I must have been looking at her through some majorly rose colored glass. Glass says, we continued our discussion through dinner. Sorry, it just wasn't any good time to bring it up. Ryu took a glance at the black suits and shrugged. Yeah, sounds good. Personally speaking, it was scary to think that the implication behind good friends would change between me and Rio from today forward. Really makes me wonder what's going on with my life. It was astounding enough that one of my childhood friends was a princess, and now that applied twice as hard. I faded a glance over at Rhea. The second our eyes met, I instantly looked away. She was Rhea. She was Rhea, but still, she was also the diva I admired, and I couldn't look her in the eye anymore. <laughs> Shut up. Dang it, don't talk in Rio's voice with Maria's face. I certainly didn't mind being teased by Maria Bishop, but I couldn't help feeling ticked off knowing Rio was mocking me. Those two sets of emotions had completely jumbled together, leaving me feeling depressed. Better just change the subject for now. Anything would work. Um, so what's with the hair? Makes sense. Oh, I thought the yellow hair was a wig. Whoops. That was the one thing I could accept. Only wigs would possibly be this long. Could possibly be this long. But I just kind of come to my own conclusion that her hair had always been long and black. It was ordinarily short and died at that. This was a total shock for black hair fetishists like myself. Underneath that lovely hair is the blatantly blonde hair of a delinquent, huh? Kimpatsu? Soma-kun, 
あー<笑>うんま約束したからな<笑>んなんかあんの<笑>なーいしょ The two of them were smiling at each other rather amusedly. Sounded like there was some backstory there, but I doubted they'd fill me in. You know, Sylvie, you've been pretty calm about this whole thing, but didn't you think that Ryo was a man? Oh? Bullseye. What was all that about your first love then? Bata! Oro! Honey no made! Whoops. Soma kun, ima no kikoeta? Kikoeta. Tska mukashi mo kokhak sareta kara shitte ryo. Sore de ore awate te onna datte barashita n janee ka. So datta kye? Sa, sa. Watashi mo saisho wa Soma kun no koto otoko no ko datto omotte ta wa. それで、ソーマくんになっちゃったのよね。今でも抜けないわ。リアちゃんに変えた方がいいかしら。どっちでもいいよ。言いやすい方で。<笑>じゃあ、ソーマくんで。旦那、第三者の足にもだんだん話が見えてきましたが。要するに、オーロが原因で始まったことで、10年後現在、オーロが惑わされてるっぽいね。Don't say it like that. My bill for not remembering much about those days, especially about Soma, was coming due. Ah,、oh, dang it. Why had I forgotten so much about Soma, and why the heck did I think she was a man? I couldn't remember, probably because she had short hair. Omoi da sana kute i. Huh? Nan na monai. Ne, ne. Hatsko i te koto wa. Ria chan ima de mo kekko i ke men da ke do. Hey, yo, Reina. Chill. かっこよかったわよ。知的で優しくて、王子様は身近にたくさんいたけど、こんなにかっこいい王子様は他にいなかったわ。Don't be shy。照れるっつうか、微妙だわ。女だぞこっち。<笑>今はかっこいいというか、可愛くなっちゃったわね。ちっちゃくて。うるせえ。身長のことはしゃあねえだろ。She clicked her tongue. Not that it matters, but seeing her behave poorly and click her tongue with Maria's face made my heart pound. Ria, a singer. Oh, now that you mention it, I feel like Suma was a great singer. It's still incredible she made it in their career. Since Sobe plays piano, what if you tried going all out with her singing? Knowing you, I'm sure you'd be fine. Wouldn't it be fun to sing with Sylvie on piano? That would be incredible. Ne, Sylvie, Kyo no Hanashite no a Christmas no koto de in deo na. Hi, Nizu Yoka, Koko de Sylvie Sama Shusai ni oru Kai na party o Hirakimas. So chira de Ikyo ku negae nai kato. What? I'll get to hear Maria perform live at this Christmas party? Is that why you always turn down TV performances and stuff? Ria shrugged. My heart suddenly raced at the thought of Maria Bishop feeling that way, but that sensation quickly grew sour when I realized it was Rio talking instead. That must be so conflicting. Poor guy. So we prodded in a needy tone. <laughs> oh, I'm getting some major deja vu here. Whenever Sylvie would beg someone for something, she'd always cave and listen to whatever she had to say. It's a good thing. Excuse me a sec. This was poor manners, Min Mio, but I took out my cell phone. Leap, leap. There. Texting Chieka. Cancelled our plans to hang out over Christmas. Wow! If I had to pick between Chieka and a live performance by the Maria Bishop, I'd pick the latter 10 times out of 10. So we sounded happy. Was it really worth getting so delighted over? Whatever, I guess this dude is so stupid. Oh my god. 
Our meal carried on just as amicably. あの歌姫と一緒にお食事なんてでもよくよく考えれば普段から一つ屋根の下はしてたようなもんなんだよね同じ量でへんなのああそうだ一もだけど量の連中には言うなよ絶対どうしてめんどくせえからガチで言うな
I've got a French film that'll make you super sleepy. Wait, wait, I'm kidding. Back at the dorm, Ria was her usual self. There were no signs of Maria to be found. This was probably the real her, which also made this the real Maria. Ha. <sighs> It wasn't like I really thought Maria was some sort of angel or fairy who had a pure, flawless personality and never swore. But it was still a tough pill to swallow. Of course. And it was thanks to that shock that I couldn't process all the different matters that had been tidied up today. Hmm. Interesting. That you were by muted. Yep. Gotta be quick about it though. She skips basically every day. She skips basically every day. She's apparently exempt since she's got her hands full with her expert planning classes. Looking back on it now, I bet the academy was fine with her passing on class since she wasn't the diva of the century. Oh, she was. My bad. <laughs> Couldn't you if you headed to the door? なりません。はあ、もう。え、エルチン、なんかお疲れ。夕べから少々対外関係が荒れていまして、私などまだいい方です。手伝ってくれた色へは徹夜で今でも働いています。Is that what she's extra buggy today? Foreign affairs since yesterday. That must mean I didn't dare to say it out loud, but I bet it was related to Ruzoji. News had been spreading online since this morning that the big story about the close relationship between Ryuzoji and Sodilage had been refuted. Are they filing complaints from their end, basically? おいやけの文句ではありませんが、あちらの息のかかったマスコミ各社が良い反応をしていないのは確かですね。我々ゴエーブでは対処しきれない。広報部の経験があるイロエがいてくれて本当に良かった。仲良しですって並んでたら。here came one of those media related parties now. わかっております。しかしこちらもこれ以上は放っておけなかった。株価操作とは見られなくてよかったわね。あと少し遅ければ国を挙げての為替介入になっていたわ。We all went silent at their complicated adult sounding conversation. Despite now being involved, Jogasaki didn't look like she was going to complain to us personally. Ah, yes, still hitting. What, what are you talking about? え。あやかもそうまくんと仲良しなのは知っているわ。私たちって会ったことあるかしら。あのキャンプでは覚えがないけれど、私はあのキャンプには出てませんが、出るつもりだったのだけど、直前というか。始まった直後にトラブルがあって。そうなの。じゃあ私は知らないわね。I <笑> さる国の<笑> こちらもリアからあなたのことは聞いたけれど、記憶にありません。あなた本当にあの頃リアと親しかったのでいや、maybe Yep, yep, you don't say. Every single word out of her mouth was annoying. I agree with you. I agree with you. Why? I agree with you. 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 I 
トーク。だったかしら。体の大きかった彼とは。いちくん。Hmm. I can't really remember who I hung out with back then. There weren't many women around since I mostly played with other guys, but Sylvie left such a strong impression that I remembered her. I could at least recall the idiotic Shochan and Crybaby Achan, but neither of their personalities would have matched with Jogasaki's. Oh well, guess it wasn't meant to be. That seemed easy to understand, yet kind of not. I was Maria to be a good person, and I was able to be a good person. I was able to be a good person. そのようなことは、oh. うーん私から龍蔵寺さんに言おうかしらお話を遅らせて申し訳なかったってしシルビー様が頭を下げることではありませんあちらが勝手にやったことですあらでもそうして先に一発かますと相手も何も言えなくなるから有効よかますってあなたふむふむ流蔵寺を断ち切りたいなら早め早めに動くことねはっきり言ってあそこしつこいですよ This 流蔵寺 guy was probably causing a lot of trouble for the Jogasaki family but she shrugged and went on her merry way I could tell Sylvie was lost in the thought Was this controversy not over yet? Looks like it's not Oh that's a good spot to end it mm -hmm, No biddies this episode that's okay I think in like an episode or two, it's when it'll show up. <laughs> but not like that. But not like you guys will see it because if you do, YouTube will too, and I'll get in trouble. <laughs> if you do want to see it, find it yourself. I'm going to tell you guys how you can do it. So if you're someone that is struggling, if you want to get some patches, it's a quick tutorial. If you made it this far, congrats. You get a tutorial, a free tutorial. I'm not charging you. I'm kidding. But here, I'm going to show you how to do it. So on the Steam version, it's the appropriate version. You know, it's like the... You could say it's not the original because obviously I'm sure the original was w including with the porn. The ge to the eroge. You know, the ero. So to get the patches, you need to hit up Nekonyan, their website. And then... Uh, let me go on full screen here. And then you go to the website here. Click the first one, Nekonyan. Nekonyansoft.com Then you hit up their shop And in their shop they have like a ton of their visual novels, right? Oh look, there's Cafe Stella up here Wait, where was it? There's King Koi, there's Cafe Stella, the ones we've been playing And if you look even more balls deep I'm sure you'll find Sandra Banka as well But in this case it's King Koi or whatever, right? Then you click download And then it's gonna take you to the download thing King Koi R18 DLC so if it's Cafe Stella or Sandra and Banca, it'll say that their title name and then the R18 DLC. So once you have your file here, you're going to click copy on that. And then what you're going to do next, you're going to open up Steam library just like this. Then you're going to click on the visual novel that you're, you know, playing or want to play or whatever that you want to see the porno. The and then you're going to right click it, click manage, click browse local file and then it's gonna open all this data for king Koi. on king Koi data the you know the king Koi underscore data or cafe stella underscore data presumably you're gonna click this and then you're gonna paste the adult the that on here that's what you're gonna paste so sorry let me let me show you one more time because i might have explained it terribly king Koi data adult dot that this exactly is what you're gonna copy and you're gonna paste it on the file for King Koi data. You understood? So you're going to copy the the. So to make it simple for you, you're going to open the R18 DLC, King Koi data, adopt that. You're going to right click, click copy. Once you have that copied, you're going to hit, you know, your visual novel, set visual novel, manage, browse local files. 
Then on the first folder, it should be the first folder, I don't know, but look for the title name of the visual novel, underscore data, you're gonna double click, and then you're gonna copy, or you're gonna paste it right here. <laughs> you're gonna paste it right here, so you could do control V if you already copied. Once a dot, that dot is on there, you're gonna close all of this, or not all of this, but you could close that, and if you want, you could also click Steam just, you know, just to give it a little refresher. And I don't know. I mean, you probably don't have to. But once you do that, you're going to click play. And then you should have your porno ready to go. So once this tab here moves, it should say version whatever and parentheses are 18. And that's how you're able to use your porno patch here. So, yeah. Oh, I wanted to say one more thing, too. I hope you guys found that little tutorial helpful for those that want to see the actual biddies because, again, I'm not going to show it, obviously, because I'm going to get in trouble. But, yeah. Anyways, another thing I want to say. So, you guys remember a while back when we beat Your Turn to Die? So, apparently, there's, like, a final act, remember? You know, where they're, you know, after So died, it was, they're going to escape and stuff. And Sarah, oh, excuse me. Sarah, after seeing a video of Joe, she was like bawling and stuff. And then she was like, I'm not going to give up and blah, 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 blah. They're going to get out of there type thing. Going on a whole tangent and stuff about how she's not going to give up and they're going to get out of here, right? Mm -hmm. So because I wasn't only, I was, since I was unable to get that act, because the thing about that game, Your Turn to Die, is that I had downloaded it on a website for free and I didn't know that it was on Steam. So I, you could say I pirated it. Sorry. So I, I actually bought it again but on steam well not again i bought it on steam and so we're about to hit up your turn to die again and we're gonna finally finish your turn to die i don't know when but i'm sure sometime soon because we're gonna get we're probably gonna get tired of every day or almost all the time playing king core and all the other visual novels it'll be a nice little switch up you know a nice little break but anyways that's enough of me ranting about biddies at all yeah and uh other games and yeah stuff <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of King Koi. And if you did, please hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share this video with your homies. And I will see you, fellas, on the next episode. As always, maybe we'll see Biddy's next episode. Maybe the one after. I don't know. Or well, I guess I will, not you. Anyways, until next time, fellas. <laughs>